Good day everyone. Welcome to Studio 29 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your head designer. In this video tutorial, we are going to be modeling this round staircase, which was designed by Work AC in New York. Before we start, I would like to encourage you guys to like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I do videos like this every week. With that said, let's get on with the video tutorial. First, let's start by setting out your viewpoints, including elevations. This will help you to have a smooth and hassle-free workflow. Next, to set up your story settings. Set the ground floor height to next to 2.72 meters or 2720 millimeters. Now start drafting your seating risers. I am using uh, 340 millimeters with the aid of the multiplier. Next are the treads set at 560 millimeters. Trim the lines so you can see the edge of the staircase. Now that we have the outline of the staircase, start using the polyline to define the edge. This tool will help when offsetting the edge of the underside of the staircase. Copy the polyline information and paste it on the floor view, ground floor to be more specific, and a quick rotation. Now for the modeling of the staircase, we will be using the shell tool. Make sure the composite structure is concrete. The layer is set to stair. Thickness is set to 340 millimeters and home story height is set to zero. By holding down the space by key and clicking the polyline, you can use it as a reference and click OK for the extrusion height. Select the created staircase. Press P on your keyboard to flip the position and set your lines to make sure the outlines are visible. Open the front elevation. Select the staircase and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Now on the plane, you can remove the polyline references. Now create a circle. Hence, it is called a round staircase. Now stretch the staircase to cover the whole circle. Right click the staircase or the shell element and select define shell contour. Then hold down the spacebar key and click circle to pick its path as the outline of the shell element. In 3D, you can see that it came out just right. Now just change the surface material to the material that you want. Now use the slab tool to create the inside steps because up to this point, we have only created the seating pavilion of the staircase. Using the simple structure method and bottom reference plane location with height or riser of the steps being 170 millimeters and the treads being 280 millimeters. Or 
Also make sure your lines are showing. As you can see in 3D, it came out just right. Just change the surface to match and the layer also. Now multiply the slab element by using the multiplier or control U. Using the spread method with spacing at 560 millimeters and the vertical displacement at 340 millimeters. Make sure it shows up nicely in 3D. Now create the slab for each floor using the slab tool. Set your layer, reference plane location to top, surfaces to your liking and make sure your lines are showing. First on the ground floor, then copy and paste on the first floor. Also copy the cycle to the first floor to use it to punch a hole on the first floor slab. The original staircase has a tube element on the perimeter of the staircase. We are using the shell tool again for this element. Thickness at 100 millimeters this time. and using the circle as the path for the element. It covers everything in 3D, but we can fix that. Now just change the surface materials. On the side elevation, select the tube element, right click it and select the create hole in shell option and start defining the top portion of the tube element. Right click it again and select the same option to define the lower portion of the tube element. Check it in 3D. At this point, we are done with the actual modeling of the staircase. The only thing to do now is to model the railing using the railing tool. I ended up using the frameless class railing because it is going to be easy to delete the class panel. It doesn't show up because of the pen set, but we can fix that. But first, make sure it is following the staircase angle. Under segment, you can easily remove the glass panel and leave the upper railing element. Then override the materials and lines. Now just move the top point of the railing to the side, also at the bottom, and bend the railing to match the path of the right edge. Check if it worked out in 3D and mirror it to the other side. And there you have it folks, hope you enjoyed this video tutorial as much as I enjoyed creating it. Once again, do like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I do videos like this every week. Love you guys, God bless you and goodbye.